ladies and gentlemen good day to you now you are invited to watch a hilarious play the refund by fritz karenchi this drama is being presented by the students of standard 10a and b well what's it a man sir outside he wants to see you i receive parents only during office hours the particular office hours are posted in the notice board tell him that yes sir yes sir but it is in the parent sir a pupil i don't think so he has a beard not a parent and not a pupil then what's he he told me i should just say vasukov what does he look like stupid intelligent fairly intelligent i would say sir Good. Then he's not a school inspector. Show him in. Yes, sir. How do you do? What can I do for you? I'm Vasukov. Don't you remember me? No. It's possible I've changed. What the hell? Your class record will show that I've got the right to come here. The class records? How so? Mr. Principal, if you please, I'm Vasukov. doubtless doubtless but what has that to do with it you mean to say you don't remember my name no i imagine you wouldn't you are probably glad to forgive me well mr principal i was a student in this school 18 years ago oh where are you well what do you want now a certificate since i'm bringing my living certificate you gave me i suppose i can go along the other one no that isn't why i came here well as a former people of this school i want you to refund my tuition fees Which I paid for my education 18 years ago. You want me to refund your tuition fees? Exactly, the tuition fees. If I were a rich man, I would tell you to keep them. So far, I'm confirmed. What the hell? But I'm not a rich man, and I need the money. I'm not sure I understand. Damn it! I want my money back. Is that plain enough? Why do you want it back? Because I didn't get my money's worth. That's why. This certificate here says that I got an education. Well, I didn't. I didn't learn anything, and I want my money back. But look here. Look here, I don't understand it at all. I've never heard of anything like it. What an absurd idea. Absurd, is it? Is a good idea. Is it a good idea that I didn't get out of my own head? Thanks to the education I got here, which meant nothing but an incomplete ass out of me. My old classmate Lerer gave me the idea not half an hour ago. Give it to you? Like that. Here I was walking along the street, fired from my last job. I'm wondering how I could help hold some cash because I was quite broke. I'm in Lira. I said, "How is it going, Lira?" "Fine," he says. "A good hurry to the brokers to collect the money. I made speculating in the foreign exchange." "What's foreign exchange?" I said. He says, "I haven't got the time to really know, but according to the paper, Hungary money is down by 70 points, and I have made the difference. Don't you understand?" "Well, I don't understand." I said, "How do I make money if money goes down?" And he says, "What's a cough? If you don't know that, you don't know a damn thing. Go to school and get your tuition back." Then he hurried away, left me standing there, and I said to myself, "Why shouldn't I do that?" He is right. Now that I have thought it over, so I came here as fast as I could. If you give me back my tuition fees, because they amount a lot of money, and I didn't get anything for them. Really? But now, see here, we have never heard a request like yours before. Leader told you. He's a good friend, leader. He told me, and when I get my money back, I'm going to buy him a present. You, you're not really serious, are you? I was never more serious in my life. Treat me wrong here, and I will go straight to the Ministry of Education and complain about you. You took my money, and you told me nothing. Now I'm no good for anything, and I can't do the things I should have learned in this school. You're mad, my dear sir. Uh, Vasukov, please go away quietly. I will think the matter over after you have gone. No, no, you don't get rid of me so easy. I will go when everything is being settled. I was given the instruction here in the exchange of money, so that I might be able to do something. But I can't do anything because I was told so badly, and anybody can see I owed her my money back. What makes you think you can't do anything? Everybody thinks so. If I get a job, I can't keep it. Give me an examination and tell me what I ought to do. Call the masters and let them say. What a distressing business! How unfortunate! You really want to take another examination? Yes, I would like to take one. What an unusual case! I've never heard of anything like it before. 
um, I shall have to consult the staff. I shall have to call a conference. Uh, will you wait in the waiting room and give me a few minutes? Yes, Babi Cook. I got no time to waste. Ask the staff to come here at once. A most extraordinary conference. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, I have asked you to come here on account of a most unusual state of affairs. Sit down, gentlemen. I shall open the conference. It is unprecedented, incredible and fantastic. A former pupil has come to see me, uh, an individual named Vosikov. He brought up a question which I have never encountered in my many years of experience. I have never heard of anything like it. Tell us about it. He wants, he wants his tuition fees back. Why? Because he's lost his job, because he's broke, because he's an ass. I should be glad to have you express your views on this unparalleled case. The case is natural. The law of conservation of energy proves that any given paper will lose in any given period. As much knowledge as a teacher can drill into his head is and the period of black duration. There is nothing like it in the history of civilization. It is said that the Bourbons learn nothing and forget nothing. If that is true, the law of conservation of energy. The question is, does he want the amount with symbol or compound interest? Because, where is the fellow anyhow? He is waiting outside. He wants to be re-examined. He says he learned nothing. He says a re-examination will prove it. I would like to know what you gentlemen think about it. A re-examination? Gentlemen, it is my conviction that we will lose nothing by re-examining Vasakov. If he fails, he will place us in an awkward position. Therefore, he must not fail. He has, shall I say, pursued and one studies in the school of life. We will not make our questions too difficult. Agreed, gentlemen? We are dealing with a sly, crafty individual who will try to get the better of us and his money back. By hook or crook. We must checkmate him. How? By sticking together. The object is to prevent him from failing. Because if he fails, he succeeds. That we must stop. If he fails, tomorrow there will be two more former peoples and the next day a dozen. We must back each other, each other up, gentlemen, so that this painful affair does not become a pedagogical scandal. We will ask him questions. Whatever his answers, we agree beforehand that they are correct. Who will decide? I. If you will permit me, Mr. Principal, let us proceed with the examination. We will show the former people that we too can be shrewd. Isn't there a chance of something going wrong? Suppose it gets into the newspapers. Leave it to us. Show in, uh, Vosagov. How, How do you do? do? Who the hell are you? Sit down, you loafers. How dare you? Please, sit down, you loafers. My dear sir, the greeting you have just given us shows that you understand the patriarchal manners which we impress upon everybody in this institution. Exactly as in the days of the medieval humanists, teachers and pupils here are on a footing of perfect equality. You have shown us in a most tactful way that you approve of our customs. That is good of you and I am sure my colleagues will agree that the people Vasakov who appears before us for re-examination need not be examined in what appertains to gentlemanliness. Instead, we waive the examination in that subject and mark him excel. Quite right, quite right. Manos, excellent. Agreed. 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 Alright, if you say so. What the hell? I don't give a damn for a lot of you. My big gentlemanly isn't going to pass your examination. Let me fail as quickly as possible and give me money. Everything else is just nonsense. Speaking for the staff, we agree with you. Your courtesy will not affect us one way or the other. We will examine you and be guided entirely by your replies to our questions. Take notice of that. Alright, carry on. Let's hear the questions. I need money. Go to it. Ask me questions, professors. I mean long eared asses. I would like to see you get a single answer of me. The examination will begin. History, uh, Scheffler? Herr Wasikov, won't you be seated? To hell with the seat! 
No, I will stand. Bravo. Excellent. Now Vasakov wishes us to understand two things. He will dispense with a formal written examination and will answer orally. Good. He will not be seated. He will stand. Also good. It follows that his physical condition is splendid and I take it upon myself to award him an excellent in physical culture. I ask the principal who teaches that subject to concur. Quite right. Physical culture? Excellent. Agree. Okay. No, you called me once, didn't you? Well, you won't do it again. From now, I will have my ears open. Alertness, very good. Perseverance and nushi. Logic, excellent. Get on with your questions. Ambition, boundless. Yes, sir, just a minute. What's the matter, Shuffler? And you prepared? A moment. Oh, you can't think of a question that is easy enough. You are always a numbskull. Candidate, answer this question. How long did the 30 year war last? 30? I mean to say, I don't know. Please, answer my questions. I am sure you know. Give me the answer. Well, well. Mr. Principal, this is no way to run an examination. The fellow strike me, make me a cheat. I shall deal with this. Go away. How long did the third year war last? Was the question? Yes, sir. I know. Seven meters. Ha <laughs> ha, seven meters. I know it lasts that long. It's possible I am wrong. And if I am, I fail. Seven meters. Ha <laughs> ha, seven meters long. Seven meters. Please give me back my tuition fees. Seven meters? Right. Your answer is excellent. What? What did you say? The answer is correct as a matter of fact. The candidate has shown us that his thought processes are not merely superficial and that he has investigated the subject in accordance with modern researches based on... Relativity, of course. The quantum theory. Planck, Einstein. It's all very simple. Don't say another word. We understand perfectly. Einstein has taught us that time is as real as space and matter. It consists of atoms and may be synthesized into a unified whole and may be measured like anything else. Reduce the mass system to a unit and a year may be represented by a meter or seven years by seven meters. We may even assert that the 30 years war lasted seven years only because, because... Because the actual warfare took place only during half of each day, that is to say 12 hours out of 24 and the 30 years at once became 15. But not even 15 years were given up to the incessant fighting for the combatants had to eat 3 hours a day reducing our 15 years to 12. And if we detect from this the hours given up to noonday sisters to peaceful diversions to non-warlike activities. To social distractions we are left only with time which the candidate has represented by the Einsteinian equivalent of 7 meters. Correct. I take it upon myself, gentlemen, to propose a grading of very good in history. Oof. Bravo. Bravo. Excellent. Excellent. He has passed. But I see. That ends the examination in history. History, very good. Now we'll see something, your tricksters. Come, come. Well, what's going to happen? Ask your questions or don't. I haven't got any more time to waste. Oh, now I remember you. Do you know what we used to be call you behind your back? We called you cannibal because you are always chewing your thumbs. Just as you are doing now. That's what we called you. Oh, by the way, do you remember the day you tripped and fell flat in the aisle? Do you know who tied a string across the dust to dust? So you do that? I did it. You? Can't get excited, little man. Ask me a hard question instead. Plow me. Kind of you, very kind of you. And now tell me here, Waskov. Do clock in charts really become smaller as you walk away from them or do they merely appear to become smaller because of optical illusion? What an absolute rot! How should I know? Whenever I walk away from the clocks, they get larger, invariably. If I want to get them smaller, I turn around and walk straight up to them. But they are not small at all. In a word, therefore, in a word? In a word, the way you give me pain in my neck. You are nasty. that's the answer. Is that your answer? Good. It is correct. 
a difficult answer but most brilliant one i will explain that is to i'll explain when we talk of an ass we always notice we always notice yes sir yes. that is look is sad therefore got it what have you got you wasted baboon i have got it and the answer is right why is the look of the ass so sad because we are all the victims of illusion but what illusions can affect the extremely primitive opposite powers of an ass obviously the illusions of the senses for the ass lacks imagination and this must be none other than optical illusions since the ass like us observes that objects appear to become smaller as he moves away from them the candidate has given as a most excellent answer in calling our attention to an animal whose whole expression is melancholy because its senses are deceptive or to put it in an another way because the apparent decrease in size of an object in this case a clock is to be ascribed to optical illusion the answer was correct i certify that for the candidate may be given very good in physics bravo i pradas the examination in geography just look at him they are hypocrite how are you and how need it i beg your pardon my name used to be in your class book didn't it you are rib bread you just wait i will fix you all right tell me candy i will tell you i will tell you oh how were you say to 18 years ago please tell me candy what city of the same name is the capital of german province of brunswick what a dumb question the answer is part of the question isn't it and the answer what's it? same of course that's the answer if the name of the city is same then the name of the city is same right if it isn't i fail and you refund my tuition fees the answer is correct the name of the city is same gentlemen the candidate shows exceptional knowledge in the history of german city brunswick there was a legend that once as the emperor barbarossa who was riding into the city saw a young person girl who was mounting a bun and whose mouth was full He called out her God bless you what the name of city and the person girl answered same to you sir ho ho so the name of city is same and for many years thereafter he never referred to brownfield except by that title the answer is excellent the candidate is entitled to the grade of excellence in geography geography excellent thus far the candidate has come through with flying colors only the examination in mathematics is left should he pass that he will have passed the entire examination i'm going to be more careful now so here you you all stick in the mud do you know we used to call you all stick in the mud behind your back you'd better brush up your wits if you think you're going to put one on me i will start off by telling you a few things about mathematics 2 times 2 is 5 and i make up my own multiplication tables as i go along and If you had eight apples and two pears, the answer is twenty-seven apricots. That's my system, and you will see me use it to help with mathematics. Answer excellent. Answer very good. Answer correct. Not this time. It will be simpler if you say you aren't prepared and let me fail. You must not joke about a serious examination. I am going to ask you two questions. One of them is easy, and the other is hard. One of them is easy, and the other is hard. The same mold stick in the mud that you always wear. I remember the pictures of you we used to draw on the board. If this were an examination in art, you would be marked excellent. But we are dealing with mathematics. The easy question. If we represent the speed of light by x and the distance of the star Sirius from the sun by y, what is the circumference of a 109-sided regular polyhedron whose surface coincides with that of the hip pocket? of a state railway employee whose wife has been deceiving him for 2 years and 11 months with a regimental sergeant major of hussars professor 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 professor, professor. professor. don't interfere with him will you repeat the question no either you paid attention or you did not either you know the answer or you don't tell me the answer because if you don't know it of course i know it naturally i know it i'll tell you 2629 letters exact no fractions and did i give you the correct answer i give you an answer which is too good no the answer is wrong the correct answer is 2628 letters and not 
I refuse to pass candidate. Mark him failure. I told you so. I told you so. Professor, Professor. I am sorry. It is true that his error amounted to less than a tenth of a percent in the total, but it was an error. He fails. In my opinion, the candidate's request is reasonable. Now that I have satisfied myself, he cannot pass our examination. It is his right to recover the monies which were paid us. That's so. That's right. Give me the money. Is that what you think? Absolutely. This is a good school. It is our duty to see that nothing ever injures its reputation. How much do we owe you, Havasagov? I will tell you exactly. I attended the school for six years in all. During the first three years, the fee was one fifty crowns quarterly. Total for three years, one thousand eight hundred. During the second three years, the fee was four hundred crowns semi-annually. Total two thousand four hundred and one thousand eight hundred is four thousand two hundred. Examination fees two fifty crowns and ninety five hella. Certificates, documents, books, stamp taxes one thousand two hundred and forty one crowns and forty three hella. Total five thousand six hundred eighty two crowns and thirty eight hella. Incidentals, stationery, notebooks, seven eighty six crowns and twelve hella. Grand total six thousand four hundred and fifty crowns and fifty hella. No give the hella and call it crowns. Exactly. Exactly. Can you rely on it? It's right. There's no question of it. It's right to the smallest detail. I congratulate you. That was my difficult question. I certify that the candidate passes in mathematics. His answer to the easy question was a very little out of the way, but his answer to the difficult question, how much the refund should be, was exactly correct. Havasakov is a mathematical genius. So you did put one on me. I present the results of the examination. Uh, Vosugov has passed with distinction in every subject and has again shown that he is entitled to the certificate we awarded him on his graduation. Vosugov, we offer our congratulations, accepting a large share of them for ourselves for having taught you so excellently. And now that we have verified your knowledge and your abilities, get out before I have got thrown you out. So, am I numbskull? Am I? Say it again, and I will show you what is what. I am a cannibal. What are you? Were one who tied a string across the ears? Hypocrite, nitpick, ass, me, or stick in the mud? Yes, sir. Remove that object. Thank you, gentlemen, for your magnificent cooperation. In the future, it will be our proudest boast that in this school, a pupil simply cannot fail. That is the end of the drama, the refunds. The actors and actresses in this drama: Principal Celia Poppy, Vasakov Joseph P. Kuriakos, Physics Teacher Blasen Thomas, Math Teacher. Jewel George, History Teacher Vaishak Jias, Geography Teacher Ashish P Sushi, Servants Vishnu B Nair, 